update tonight. Two contradictory rulings from out-of-state federal court cases could impact if New Yorkers will continue to have access to a popular abortion pill. Anti-abortion activists and lawmakers at all levels are weighing in on the impacts this decision will have on reproductive rights in the state. Alex Love spoke to people on both sides of the debate, and he joins us now in studio with what's at stake here. Alex. Well, first off, to clarify confusion out there, Isabel, the first ruling from yesterday came from a federal judge in Texas, ruling the FDA ignored possible safety risks to the pill mefepristone posed to patients, violating the law. While a different case in Washington state ruled 17 Democratic-led states, not including New York, must expand access to abortion pills after they sued. Anti-abortion activists like Michelle Sterlis, who's the executive director of Feminist Choosing Life of New York, hopes the ruling in Texas will stand so women seek new resources of support through pregnancies like what they offer. We have a list of resource indexes that outline a, a slew of resources necessary to help any woman in crisis to bring their pregnancy to term, including uh, referrals for adoption services. In his ruling, Judge Matthew Kaczmarek stated the pill mefepristone, quote, resulted in many deaths and severe life-threatening adverse reactions, end quote, and the FDA rushed through their decision improperly to review it. However, data from the Food and Drug Administration shows only five patients per million users died from this pill, less than Viagra and penicillin. The Trump administration did nothing to, uh, uh, to in any way stop the FDA, and nor, neither, neither did George W. Bush. I think they knew that the FDA makes decisions on the safety uh, of a drug. Mephipristone is used to end a pregnancy up to 10 weeks in. Still, activists like Sterlis argue it's life beginning at conception. Human beings begin their existence at the moment of conception. So you have a human being. You were a human being at the moment of conception. Viability is a different question. Pregnancy involves an unborn child, whether it's one week or whether it's 21 weeks. With a conflicting ruling in Washington state complicating matters, state lawmakers like Assemblymember Harry Bronson vows the New York legislature will act to protect reproductive rights. We really should not allow a rogue ju judge to um, override a woman's choice with the assistance of her physician and backed by science. The Biden administration has announced they are appealing the ruling in Texas going to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. But with this with the ruling in Washington state, legal experts are not ruling out if the Supreme Court will take this case later on. Isabel. All right. Thank you very much for that story there, Alex and Governor Kathy Hochul, Planned Parenthood and Students for Life also releasing statements about these cases. For those full responses, you can visit this article over at RochesterFirst.com.